Now, as you're all aware, I've called this meeting to discuss something very important. Let me guess, we're out of money? We're out of money. I feel like every one of these meetings starts with her telling us we're out of money. Yeah, you get used to it. We blew through the last of our funds on legal fees to get that dolphin released from the abusive aquarium. You and that aquarium owner remind me of Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin. What? It's a compliment. You're Joe Exotic in the story. Have you seen the show? It's not really a compliment. Anyway, the legal fees have put us in the red for this quarter. And you know what that means. If we don't raise a bunch of money soon, we're all out of jobs? You're all out of jobs, yes. How much do we need to raise this time? It's such a big number, I don't even think I can say it out loud. Here. Write it. Half a million dollars? You're not supposed to say it. You ruined the dramatic effect. Look, the point is we need a half a mil fast or we're gonna have to close down the nonprofit. Hey, Nicole, we still on for dinner tonight? I'm actually a little tired today. I think I'm gonna call it an early night. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll see you this weekend? We'll see. Hey, look, I just got to work. I gotta go. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. Hey, are we okay? Yeah, we're fine. I mean, I know we got into a little fight yesterday, but I thought you won. So, isn't like everything okay? I said we're fine. Right. Sorry. Look, I gotta go. Bye. Okay. Bye. It's not worth it. Jordan, I'd like to welcome you to the team. No, I, I can't thank you enough for this job. You know, I, I just rented a place across the street and, you know, it feels like things are starting to go my way. Great. Hope it wasn't a long lease, though. Huh? Nothing. So, I was looking over the welcome packet and uh, I had a question. Sure. Yeah, so it, it says something about working on Saturdays and that's got to be a typo, right? We do events on the weekends. Is that a problem for you? Well, it depends on what the upcoming weekend TV schedule looks like. But I guess I could just record them. Uh, anyway, I gotta tell you, I have some great ideas for this nonprofit. Good for you taking some initiative. Let's hear them. Well, I, I mainly thought I could design some t-shirts with our logo on them. Well, you're just a fountain of ideas, aren't you? I, I can't take all the credit. I mean, I get my best ideas from watching Joe Rogan's podcast. I'm like really smart. Anyway, I have your first assignment. I need you to oversee the office cleaning, so I'm going to give you a key to let the crew in. Yeah, I can handle that. Now I'm giving you this key, but you cannot lose it. Yeah, no problem. This is the master key for the entire building. That means that if we lose this, the entire building has to be rekeyed. I'm not gonna lose it. Okay. Because if you lose this key, it will cost us thousands of dollars. You must keep your eye on this key at all times. Look, I'm not gonna mess up my first assignment here. I won't let you down. And that's the long explanation as to why I do not consider tomatoes a fruit. Okay, but that doesn't answer my original question. What was that again? What do you want for dinner? Oh, I'll call you back. Hey, you will never believe what I just found. A bag? 
Where the hell did you get this? I found it. What do you mean you found it? I don't know, I found it in the bushes outside. But dude, look, there's gotta be thousands of dollars in here. Yeah, $950,000 to be exact. How did you... Hey, we all have a past. Okay, so what do we do with it? Do we keep it? I mean, is that even legal? We can't just keep it, right? I, I think we should turn it into the police. It's gotta be stolen. Nah, let's not do anything rash. Okay, I found something here. Okay, well we can't go to the police now. I mean, if we do, they're gonna think we were in on it and we'll end up in jail. And even worse, if the cartel finds out we have this money, they might try to come after us too. So what you're saying is, either way, we're screwed. Look, I have to go meet with an investor right now. Hide this somewhere and we'll figure out our next move when I get back. Where the hell am I supposed to hide this? I don't know. You're smart. You'll figure it out. Man, Nicole and I are really going through it. Every couple has fights. You guys are no different than the rest of us. You know me. I can't stand fighting. It's just part of being in a relationship. What I want to do is find the secret to the perfect relationship. You know, that that's why I called. You and Joe seem so happy. We are, but even we have our moments. There's no secret thing that makes a relationship work. It's a bunch of tiny things that all add up. Yeah, I guess you're right. If you really want to see what goes into a healthy relationship, maybe you could talk to your grandparents? Sophia, my grandma tried to fake her own death last week. I'm not really sure that's the couple I'm trying to model my relationship after. No, but they made it work for over 50 years. You can talk to them about what worked and more importantly, what didn't work over all that time. Yesterday, my grandpa told me that when he's arguing with my grandma, he thinks of the rocket fire in Vietnam to calm himself down. Yeah, don't, don't read too much into most of what they have to say. Hey Jordan, great job with the cleaning crew earlier. I'm just reminding you to leave the key on my desk by the end of the day. I, yeah, I put it on your desk after lunch. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did? Well, I just checked and it wasn't there. Are you telling me that you lost the key that I specifically told you not to lose? No, I, I'm just kidding, I, I haven't. You sure? Yep, yep, no, I've got it. It's, it's right, it's right, right here. I didn't see anything. Hey, look, I actually can't talk right now. I've got to go, uh, uh, wash your car. That was odd, but I do need a car wash. I'm on my way to meet with the investor. I'll call you after the meeting. Oh, you asshole. How'd the meeting go? 
not so well. He, he's not going to give us the money. But don't worry, I already have another meeting lined up. I hope so, for your sake. Huh? If you have something to say to me, I expect you to say it to my face. Hold on, what's going on here? The text you sent me? Oh my god, no, no, no. I didn't mean to send the you asshole part. No, 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 a car cut me off and I was using the speech to text function. Likely story. I'm not lying and, and I'm really sorry. I don't know what to believe at this point. I have half a mind to fire you on the spot. I make 10 bucks an hour. Go ahead. See, it's comments like those that make me think that this text wasn't an accident. No, 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 you're right. I am sorry. You better come up with the money we need or you will be the first one I fire. I will, I promise. So far, I am not doing a good job making new friends here. I guess what I'm asking is, where did it go wrong with you two? Well, that's a hard thing to pinpoint precisely. I can, every morning when I wake up and remember I'm still alive. Where's this kind of question coming from, Alex? I'm going through a rough patch with Nicole. I had the thought that if I could find the secret to the perfect relationship, maybe I could save my own. The perfect relationship, what a nice thought. Doesn't exist. Don't ruin his hope like that, Robert. He should know the truth. Alex, there's no such thing. You've been married for 50 years. You must have been happy at some point. The first five were happy. The next 45, not so much. Well, is there any advice you could give me? Have the prenup conversation early. Seriously, I want to make things right with Nicole. I, I, I think you guys can help me. If you want to make your relationship work, take everything you know about being a man. Sunday football, beer with your buddies, golf on the weekends, and throw it out the window. Because you're never going to be doing any of that stuff anymore. Also, you should learn to enjoy romantic movies. I already do. Well, maybe you don't have to worry about giving up all that manly stuff anyway. Relationships are a lot of work, Alex, and they can be emotionally draining. For example, when I met Maureen, I had smile wrinkles. Now, as you can see, they've totally faded. Like our love. Okay, so you've told me about all the bad things in your relationship. Now, I want to know about the stuff that's worked over all those years. Best advice I can give you is buy your diamonds. I'm 20 and broke. Flowers and chocolates work just as well. Some mistakes just require diamonds. If you want to make a woman happy, there are a few things you got to remember. She's always right, agree with everything, and always ask how her day was. Where has that treasure trove of good ideas been hiding the last 50 years? It's been with my dreams and ambitions under your feet. Look, Alex, it's clearly too late for us, but you still have time to save your relationship. You guys have been really helpful. And now, I'm going to get Nicole back. How did he get that from what we just said? Jordan? So I uh, think I lost the key. You had one job. I know, I... You do realize this is going to cost me thousands of dollars, right? I, I was sure I left it on your desk when the cleaning people were done. Well, you didn't. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I don't know how this happened. I hate to do this, but you're fired. Please, I, I know I can make this right. Sorry, Jordan. Just pack up your things and go. This was my first day. My only thing here is the welcome packet. Then pack that up. Probably at his car by now. Okay, there was an update on the case just now. Dude, they called off the search? You know what this means, right? We get to keep the money. Wait, where is the money? 
Joe? Hey. Hey. This is for you. Thank you. So, how was your day? Really? What? You just never ask. And that's my bad. I need to be better about that. Thank you for saying that. This is just the beginning. Starting today, I'm gonna try much harder in this relationship. I appreciate that. And I know I have to do some work on my end too. I agree. You do have some things to work on. Hey! Sorry, I'm supposed to agree with everything you say. Wait, what are you talking about? Never mind. Great news! I, I made up with my boss by giving her that bag of cash me and David found. The bag of cash that was on the news today? Joe, there was like a million dollars in there. Yeah, it was more than enough money to get the nonprofit back on track and save all of our jobs. Wait, wait, let me get this straight. You gave your boss a million dollars to save your $32,000 a year job? Well, yeah. Couldn't you have just kept the money and quit? Well, damn. 